wonderful world of YouTube. So this is the most ideal setup, but I'm living at home right now. So once I get back to school, I might have a little bit different situation, but my room here is a little small. But I mean, the rooms at school are small too, so like, anyway. For today's video, I'm going to be answering 20 questions that I just Googled and I found on a website. Um, just so you guys can get to know me better, although most of you watching probably know me, but maybe there's something you don't know, so you might learn something new today. So I'm just gonna get started with the video. Question number one, when is your birthday? I am a Halloween baby. I was born on October 31st. I'm going to be turning 20 this year, which is really crazy. <laughs> what is your favorite animal? My favorite animal is an elephant um, because for a lot of reasons. First of all, they're just the cutest things, but also my, I'm gonna get really deep here for a sec. Um, my grandmother died of Alzheimer's last year and the elephant is one of the symbols for Alzheimer's because an elephant never forgets. Um, I actually, fun fact, I actually have an elephant tattoo right here. Um, my sister drew it and I got it to symbolize my grandmother. So elephant is my favorite animal. What do you do for a living? Are you in school? Um, as I mentioned earlier, I go to school at Linfield. I'm going to be a sophomore. Um, what do I do for a living? I mean, I've had jobs here and there, obviously, because I'm a student, so I can't really work a full-time job. Um, currently, I have an inter internship with Broadway Rose. I'm doing spotlights for Mamma Mia, which is super fun. I always have the song stuck in my head. In fact, right now I have Our Last Summer stuck in my head, so. If you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you go? Um, I want to see the world. I'm going to London in January for study abroad, which is definitely one place that I really want to go. I also really, I've always wanted to go to France. That's why I took French in high schools, because I want to go to France. I just want to go to Europe. I just want to travel Europe. That's probably, that would probably be my dream. What was your favorite sub, what was your favorite school subject? If we're talking like electives, publications, because um, I loved the people and my teacher, and it was just such like, it was such an inviting group of people and I really enjoyed every year I did something different so like my first year I just did journalism and then sophomore year I did yearbook and junior year I did newspaper and then senior year I did broadcast so I got to see it all kind of which was really cool but if we're talking core classes um then probably anatomy which like <laughs> in college anatomy, it was so much harder, but high school anatomy was so much fun. I love my teacher. He would just crack jokes all the time. And I feel like I learned a lot in that class. Do you have a small or big family? Um, I have a fairly normal sized family. Um, so my immediate family is me, my parents and my sisters, just the four of us. But then um, if you're talking about like cousins and aunts and uncles, like on one side, Okay, if we're talking about like step cousins too, I have seven cousins on one side and I have four cousins on another side. So I guess I have a lot of cousins, but first cousins. Uh, what genres of music do you like best? Um, I listen to a lot of pop mostly because I just like listen to the radio. My favorite artist is Ed Sheeran, so like his kind of music, I guess. Um, like Ben Rector, if you've heard of him, he's kind of similar in style to Ed Sheeran. Um, my sister and I have started listening to AJR, um, and they're kind of like, I mean, they're pop, but they're also kind of like rockish, and they're kind of fun, so. Um, I guess pop, mostly. How do you like to spend your free time? Um, well, this summer, it's been watching Netflix, but on a normal basis, I really like choreography. Um, I've been a dancer my whole life, and so expressing myself with dance is something that I really enjoy doing, and so when I'm not doing anything, I like to just listen to music and just choreograph something, even if I never do anything with it. Um, it's definitely one of my favorite things to do. Are you a morning or a night person? Uh, I used to be a morning person, probably because I had to get up at 6 a.m. for high school, but since I started college, I've been going to bed at like midnight, so I guess I'm a night person. Fun fact, if you're a night, morning or night person, it's actually a genetic thing. I learned about this in this pre-orientation program I did um, last year. We tested our DNA to see which gene we had, and I tested as a night person, which was really interesting to me because I thought I'd be a morning person. I'd say I'm a little bit of both, but I guess I lean a little bit towards night. What is your favorite food? Um, I used to really like mac and cheese, and I still do, but a couple years ago, I found out I'm very lactose intolerant, and so I went a whole year without eating any dairy, 
which was a challenge, but after that, I kind of like stopped liking cheese. I mean, I like cheese in moderation, but not like extremes amount of cheese. Um, but I guess I really like burritos. What's your favorite movie or TV show? Um, I always say my favorite movie is the Harry Potter series just because they did an amazing job translating from the book to the movie because um, it's really hard to do that and a lot of movies that do that don't do a good job. My favorite Harry Potter movie would probably be Goblet of Fire just because it's the first one that really goes dark. Plus, I love Cedric Diggory, so I mean, you know. Um, my favorite TV show, um, I really like the classics, you know, like Parks and Rec and The Office. Um, currently, my mom and I are watching Jane the Virgin. Literally cried last night watching it. If you've seen Jane the Virgin, you'll know what I mean. Season 3, episode 10, bawling. I love Grey's Anatomy. Um, there's too many. What is your favorite childhood memory? Okay, this is weird. The first one that came to mind is, so my only girl cousin um, that's close to my age, me, her, and my sister would always go to my grandma's house and play um, when we were younger. And there was one time when we went outside and we put bags on our feet and we wore my grandma's nightgowns and we just like spoke gibberish. But I don't really know what we were doing. Who is your celebrity crush? Okay, um, I have a couple. So growing up, it was always Zac Efron just because of High School Musical, you know, that came out when I was like seven or something, like seven or eight. Currently, uh, it's Chris Pratt. I love him. If you haven't seen his MTV Awards speech, go watch it. This is what I call nine rules from Chris Pratt. Number one, breathe. If you don't, you'll suffocate. I'll link it down below because he says some incredible things and he's hilarious and he's just such an inspiration. He's completely like changed his image but he's still like the same old Andy Dwyer and he's just so cute and fun and I just, he's definitely 100% my celebrity crush right now. Do you speak more than one language? Unless you count me taking three years of French in high school, no, I only speak English. But what is your biggest pet peeve? Um, okay, one of my pet peeves is when people play Christmas music before Thanksgiving. If it's like a couple days before Thanksgiving, I can do it, but like, as soon as Halloween is over and people are playing playing Christmas music, uh-uh, don't talk to me. Let Thanksgiving have its time. I, I love Thanksgiving, I love Thanksgiving food, I love getting together with my family. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Oregon, in the Portland area, just where I am right now. <laughs> what is a skill you would like to learn? I really wish I was good at drawing. My sister is an amazing, amazing artist, and I wish I got those jeans as well, because I would love to just like doodle in class and like actually have it turn into something, because like all my doodles are like flowers and hearts and it's kind of lame. What do you value most in a friend? Um, definitely honesty and loyalty. With my, okay, with my anxiety, I often, my mind will tell me that, um, you know, people are mad at me or people um, don't want to hang, ar hang around me. Having a friend that's honest and having a friend that sticks with me no matter what and reassures me that they're there for me is definitely something that I value in a friend because all the friends I have now obviously have proven that and the fact that we're like still friends and that my anxiety has ruined that friendship shows that they are loyal to me and that they love me for me and that's definitely what I value most in a friend. Which brings us to question number 20. What's your biggest fear? Um, well, I could go really deep, but I'm just gonna say losing people that I really love. And I don't mean in the sense of like death. Well, like obviously like death too, but I mean in the sense of like them like um, leaving me. I had an instance where my anxiety did cause a loss in a relationship, um, but that just goes, that just taught me it's really hard for people to know how to deal with it. And so the friends I have now, I'm super duper grateful for because they know how to calm me down. They know what my anxiety looks like and they've stuck with me through it. Um, and I really appreciate those people. And y'all know who you are. <laughs> That's 20 questions about me. If you have any more questions, uh, go ahead and leave them in the comments below because I'll definitely answer them because like no one comments on my videos. Subscribe, like, comment. I'll probably be vlogging more, hopefully if I do some fun stuff. So um, anyway, I'll see you guys later.